Alright, so this Friday you have the most difficult stamp to get is uh, part three. You need to, need to show your math evidence on a separate piece of paper. Make sure to show your whole scenario on the top of your paper. So if you go to the back side, you have the four scenarios. So if you're Brooklyn, she's not going to write out the example but she's going to write out her scenario. It's pretty easy. Your salary is blank thousand per month for 12 months. Now remember, multiple students are not like reading the paper. So I'll read it to you. You have been hired for your dream job. You're given four intriguing scenarios for your first year's salary. Class, what's the goal of the project? First year's salary. Which scenario will give you the most amount of money? Okay. Now, here's a couple of hints. Let me read those to you at the bottom. Create a table of values. Make sure your table of values are X days or some like months. And Y is total money. Arithmetic, uh, that's supposed to be geometric sequences. Our series are helpful. Check each other's work. For example, let's just say Hallie rolls a 2. On day 1, she receives 2 pennies. And on the second day, she receives what? Um, let's use this scenario. 1, 3 pennies, and then 6 pennies, and 12 pennies. So day 1, 2, 3. She receives three pennies, six pennies, and then 12 pennies. But if you figure out the total, on day one, she has how many pennies? Three. Pay attention. The total amount of money after two days is how much? Nine cents. It's three pennies plus the six pennies. Then after three days, you have how much? 21, right? 12 pennies plus the nine previous pennies. You have to add them all up, okay? So making a table of values will be super helpful. Now, here's the other thing. This project is called the function families. Well, we did this graphic organizer called the function families. And it looks like... Did I leave it back there? Yeah. These function families, linear, quadratic, or exponential, actually helps you write equations. Why would you want to know an equation? Well, it might help you figure out all the days or months that you need to know. Okay? Thank you. All right, so here's another hint for your project. Uh, you can use a spreadsheet. And let me show you how a Google Sheets works. Let's just say you have some numbers. I don't know, maybe your pattern's like this, 11, 13, 15. And if you highlight them, we tried it on a phone and it didn't work. So you might have to use your own computer. If you grab the bottom right where the blue air, uh, box is, it can now actually uh, figure out all those numbers for you, right? And then, since you have them all highlighted, you can actually add them together. So this technique might help you with your numbers, especially someone asked. Um, so some students are asking, like, how do I show you the math? Well, in your square and rubric, it says all your work should be digital. Now, let's just say you don't want to uh, show me all digital. Let's just say you want to do it on a whiteboard. You will get penalized for that. Minimal work is digital on most handwritten work. Okay? Now, at the end of class, you guys are going to do this, but we did a ticket out the door, and I want to show you guys uh, some questions students are asking from other uh, class periods. Okay? So let's read a couple. Uh, what penalties are there? The biggest penalty is not knowing the math. If your math numbers are wrong, 
this is a math project, that's how you're going to penalize the most. Can we collaborate with other groups? Yeah. Will you watch the, uh, will the class watch our videos? No, they will not. Uh, why do we have to do the video? Uh, a lot of times you actually can have the math, but I actually want to know that you know the math. How? I hear you explain it. I see you pointing to stuff on your papers, right? You get to rehearse it, like your best effort, right? So let's just say you record it, you mess up, what can you do? You can delete it and do it again. Uh, what is the easiest way to do it and get more credit? It's just knowing the math. Now what's kind of frustrating, students are asking me, is it right, is it right, is it right? It's like a test. It's like a test that you're taking over a month. So I'm not gonna tell you necessarily the right answer. I might give you a thumbs up, you're going in the right direction. Last one. Do we have to show our faces in the video? Yes. The reason why I've had students turn in projects that are not their own. I've had older sister turn in the project, right? I've heard people just copy from the internet, okay? You having your face in there, knowing it's my own student, I get to know that it's you, okay? Um, how many people need to say I love math? Uh, Your whole group. Now, how can you get me in your projects? Passing period. Hey, Mr. Ring, can you do this? Some people have certain scenarios, right? Mr. Ring, can you be Thanos? I don't know. And then you can do something like that. <laughs>